composition, new composition, and this is a channel. Sign and three. You can select HDTV 1080 with 25 frames per second. Resolution is full. Width is 1900. 1920 and height is 1080 pixels. Start time code it should be 00, zero everything and duration hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. You can select like right now in the start one minute. Background color should be white and click OK. In Mac, you can use Command plus N yeah. instead of Control plus N or Control plus N in um, Windows. So here you can use the same comma and full stop or command plus minus is for zoom out and command plus plus for zoom in. These keyboard shortcut keys you can see in view like zoom out okay, and zoom out. See. Okay. Show rulers you can see. It is a command plus R to show rulers okay. from here you can make it fit so you can double click here okay in the project panel to import acceptable files in after effects now which files are acceptable you can see here like you can import jpeg files flash video files mp3 maya scene adobe dynamic link after effects project there are lots of files which you can open okay so for example in start let me click on desktop and from desktop like this one now you can see this in project panel we have simon anthony composition now this is here and we can see the details also like this one 1920 by 1080 this png file has a c 1500 by 1500 now this is in project panel you can drag and drop in the composition when it comes in composition you can see a layer in timeline as well so now zoom out and press and hold shift same in mac same in windows so you can change the size proportionally see if you don't press and hold shift it can be like this okay so press and hold shift to make it proportional okay proportionally each size okay the first tool is selection tool if any other tool is selected for example this tool is selected press v on your keyboard yeah, yeah. it will enable Okay, now you can see this one is here mm -hmm. and if you double click here now you can see this one hmm? now this image if I drag and drop here now you can see this is second layer and this is on top of this layer okay this one is here and see this one is here okay so now we have two layers you can see okay if i select ice cream you can see ice cream is selected if i select this you can see it, this one is selected so with this tool you can move the objects with selection tool you can resize the objects as well Okay. now second tool is hand tool you can press H simple H on your keyboard and then move it you can see it will move okay sometimes you know if we have like zoom in so we can use like this okay. this is zoom tool you can press zoom okay zoom sorry exactly you can press z and see for example this part you want to zoom okay so this is zoom tool this part you want to zoom see now this one is here 
you can see this is called transform controls this is called transform controls okay this one is called anchor point okay this transform controls if you click here like rotation tool hmm? so you can rotate it like this around the anchor point you got my point yeah after this this tool not this this one pan behind okay so this one two three four and five these tools in start very easy pan behind tool if you select if move tool is selected or selection tool you and move from anchor point see object will move but if you select pan behind anchor point tool and then move from here you can see anchor point is moving instead of object and when it is moving now for instance it is here now select rotation tool and when you rotate this one you can see it will rotate around this anchor point you got my point yeah yeah okay so this is called pan behind anchor point tool which can change the position of anchor point okay command z command z command z continuously constantly you can use for back step for undo and for step backwards okay something about layers like this layer is here okay so if you click here this is show or hide layer simple this one show or hide still this is a part of our composition but it is not appearing here so anytime we can show this one if this layer is creating problem for other layers sometimes so you can lock this layer now it will not move it will not create problems for other and others will other layers will not create problem for this layer okay so you can unlock also from here so if you click see now it is unlocked you can move so this is lock sorry this is lock unlock this is show and hide this is parent and child you know for example this one is here ice cream okay so ice cream and the parent is this one you can see parent here if you click ice cream see for pepsi parent is ice cream for pepsi layer so if you move this ice cream you can see now both are moving okay if you move only this one this will not this will move okay why because this is child layer and this one is parent layer so when parent moves children follow them it's a normal example okay so okay we can make now okay so these are if you click toggle switches modes it will change this okay Let's see what's the use for that one toggle switches slash modes it will change options okay ah. well some things i will show you here in one layer like we will see this layer delete this layer we can simply click delete or backspace in mac okay for example if i click on window and align so we can make it align horizontal and vertical where this is exact in the center point okay now you can see this one pepsi.png hmm? if you click here you will find five options and these five options are position scale or rotate anchor point and one more that is opacity so anchor point position scale rotation and opacity 
Now, for example, if you want to apply scale to this image, you can simply press S on your keyboard. Only scale will appear. If you want to apply position, you can simply press P on your keyboard. Position will appear. Now, we are going to discuss keyframe animations. Now, we have done the things like how to start a new composition. Okay, and how you can import acceptable files in the project panel of After Effects and then how you can drag and drop images or acceptable files from project panel to composition then some basic things about layers we have discussed like how to show or hide the layers and how to lock or unlock the layers okay and some about parent and child concept also now we are going to discuss about keyframe animations. Keyframe animations is the most important part in After Effects. Okay? Because all other things from intermediate to advanced level based on keyframe keyframes. Okay? So keyframes concept will clear here. There are thousands of effects which we can use internal effects in After Effects after that we can also install some external plugins from different websites mm -hmm. like videocopilot.net or videohive.net mm -hmm. all other things you know there are lots of websites so in start we need to learn these this keyframe animations so keyframe animations as i was telling you for scale you can press s for position you can press P for rotation you can press R for anchor point you can press A and for opacity you can press which one uh, <laughs> no, not it's O, not o. It's, it's, not o. It's, it's T no it's another thing in after effects you will press T, T. T is good. so scale S position P rotation R anchor point A and opacity T okay. now first of all we will start with scale okay now this is called time head play head also sorry play head this is called play head okay and now you can see the duration of this layer from here you can zoom in or zoom out timeline from here you can also do it from here okay mm. so this one like 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and 1 minute okay this is work area which is starting from here to there okay see work area and okay so normally when we import anything drag and drop the duration of the layer is according to the composition but we can make it less from here like see this one mm -hmm. so for instance i need it for 10 seconds mm -hmm. so what i can do i can change from here till there okay now this is okay when you change the playhead from here see you can see it's changing time from here so you can simply press here like if you want to move playhead to 10 seconds see 10 seconds and then enter now you can make it zoom for example in start and see this one okay so the duration of this pepsi layer is now 10 seconds our composition is of uh, like the duration of our composition is one minute but the duration of this first layer is 10 seconds now when you click scale so you can see this this is called time very stopwatch toggle ability of property to change over time option click add or remove expression so when we click on time very stopwatch it will start keyframe animation like let me click here you can see a small dot keyframe will appear here and also here will appear yeah, some so option exactly see so when we click here you can see this one is here 
then we can also see here okay now this we added exact on zero seconds so zero minutes zero or zero seconds zero frames okay then I need that it should be complete in five seconds so I will move it to five seconds okay at five seconds I will add another keyframe for here from here see add or remove keyframe at current time so add or remove this is if you click here now we have two keyframes if you want to remove you can remove from here add if you want to go to previous key keyframe you can go like this then next keyframe okay so add this keyframe now if you want to change the scale so it's according to this dimension it is 24 percent okay so if i increase from here see okay now move the playhead at zero seconds okay and then play it from preview like from here so you can see it will change like this okay okay and if I add another keyframe now here and for example I want add one more keyframe so I will click here okay at this point now I will decrease it the value so you can add more mm. okay like even if I add here like the zero so it will be see. okay see so now when you play see first it will be scale like this then from 5 to 10 seconds it will be go back even zero this okay you got my point yeah yeah okay so when you will practice you will apply one by one not all together okay you got my point because once you have you know complete experience like more professional then you can apply like all of them scale rotation uh, all together so what i will do i will click here you can delete keyframe also from delete okay delete and delete so now there is nothing okay you play see there is nothing okay so second you will check for rotation okay so now you click you can click on rotation okay then click here it will enable keyframe animations so you click here now i will go to five seconds from here okay then i will add one more keyframe from here and at this point i will change this from here Good afternoon. From here, see. And when you play it from here, now you can see it will rotate like this. Yeah, it depends on how much mm, you rotate it. How much you rotate it. Okay. Ah. Then here, if you add one more keyframe and then move back to here so how much time you will move it will move that time see see so this is called rotation this is called command z okay and we have there 
you can see. Okay. Okay. So position, now position, rotation and scale we have done. Okay. So if you want to apply position, just click P. Okay. Then you can click here. Okay. Now if I go to five seconds, okay. Then at five seconds we will add one more keyframe and we change like this. So it's going see, down. So if I play from here, so but if I add one more keyframe from here, and now I will increase this duration, and then move from here. So instead of here, from move from here like this. See, again, then add one more keyframe, and then see move like this. So add uh, one more keyframe. Okay, now play it. So. Okay, you can also change the duration of keyframes like from here. This one, so first the duration, total duration of changing position was 15 seconds. Now I have change it now it will take some six seven seconds seconds okay. okay and more if you want to change you can make it zoom like this see this one is here this is here okay this keyframe is here and this keyframe is there and the last one is Yes. Okay. So now if you play you can see. Okay. So this is position, rotation and scale. So now you will practice till here. Okay. Then next I will show you opacity and anchor point.